Hey, good morning. This is May Valensky with Driving Markets. Okay, anything said in this piece is an opinion only. Driving while talking about markets. So the big story yesterday was oil. All about oil, oil, oil. Remember, I've been saying in this channel and on Instagram and obviously on TikTok that OPEC will cut production. It wasn't a prophecy. It wasn't like I knew something. It wasn't like I had some inside information. It was quite simple. It was obvious that OPEC wants to keep the price above $80 minimum a barrel. And oil has simply gone down over the last few months to a level not sustainable as far as Russia, Kazakhstan, OPEC and the other oil producing countries want like or desire okay so they were got together and they cut production by a small 1.16 million barrels a day the probability is there's going to be another further cut in production of oil they're not really bothered about inflation or the global economy they're totally interested in one thing selling oil at the highest price possible and that's effectively what they've done now the impact of that so all shot up yesterday like 460 points and it's probably now on track to go up towards the 90 dollars level all right not necessarily break the hundred dollars but it's going to go between 85 and 90 dollars a barrel in the near future um, the reason the reason behind that is quite simple. If OPEC cuts production once, then it's going to produ it's going to cut production twice, and it's educating the markets that it wants the price up there. So we've really got to take into consideration that oil's not going to fall. I've said this for many many months. Oil's not going to fall. Oil is only going to tick up. Even if there is a recession, they will continue cutting production to maintain the price of oil at the highest possible level. It's in their interest to do so. Now, the impact of that is that it's going to be on inflation as inflation ticks up. OK, so inflation is going to tick up because energy prices and oil are major components of the regular uh, measure of inflation by the global economies. OK, so if oil ticks up, it's going to be obviously more expensive at the pump. And that's going to take more money out of the consumer's pocket. So that will have an effect on inflation. And that's going to put the Fed in the US and in other countries in a dilemma. They've got a undercurrent of a banking crisis, which is not yet over. They've got an economy that can't really sustain much higher interest rates uh, because the consumer is being battered by it. And furthermore, they've now got a rising potential inflation scenario where they've just seen a lower level of reporting inflation on the PCE of last week. But now it looks like in April, May, June, you could have a higher reading of inflation. That's going to be more pressure on the Fed to raise rates as we go through, as we go into the year. Interestingly enough, the dollar was was uh, stronger yesterday against the pound, the euro and the yen. Um, that could be on the back of uh, oil, could be. But however, the dollar was strong against those major currencies. Um, if interest rate environment changes and, and moves upwards, then obviously there will be a strength in the dollar and people will sort, people will sort out the dollar as a better better currency to invest in than the other majors within Europe and the global economy. Tesla fell yesterday 6%, which was surprising. They fell short of their numbers, which is unusual. Uh, they went down to 193. Remember, for the beginning of the year, I've been calling Tesla down to about 140. Never got there. Um, hasn't been there yet. And the way the, the way the high tech sector is going and the way Tesla is going at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to get there unless the economy goes into a major recession, which I'm calling a major recession in 2023. Um, hasn't yet happened. We're now in April. Um, the UK just escaped a recession by a small percentage point. So uh, that gave encouragement that they could avoid a recession, a technical recession from 2023 even though the numbers would deem that the gdp as the measure of growth and the measure of recession is in positive territory therefore a recession is not going to happen officially technically we're in recession businesses have seen a significant cut as far as they're concerned in the numbers and in their production in their sales and that's having a big impact there's a u.s company called bed bathroom and beyond i've been calling it for a while that's going to go bankrupt it's a uh, literally on the verge of going bankrupt. It's only like 60 cents a share. It used to be, what one time was the 
biggest bed, bathroom and other home utility supplier in, when I say home utilities, I mean for things like the bathrooms and all the cupboards, etc., etc. That's about to go bust unless they can do a massive capital raise of billions, which is unlikely to happen. And that's just an indication of which companies in the, the global economy will survive and or not surviving. Gold, interesting. Gold went up yesterday. Remember, I said gold is going to look to approach the two thousand dollars level. Um, if it breaks through that, then twenty forty would be the next point up. Um, I don't see continuing strength in the US dollar. I do see gold going up and I do see oil going up, which are, are ones to watch. Cryptos came under a little bit of pressure yesterday. Bitcoin was down again below the 28,000 level, again due to potential regulation that's coming in. The US sold 50, um, let's get this right, 50 bitcoins or yeah they sold 50 bitcoins yesterday uh, those were the those were the grabbed from the um the investigation in november last year from hackers who stole so they stole a load of bitcoins last year i think the value is 51 million I'm not too sure about that one but the u.s did sell a huge amount of bitcoins and that did suppress the price of bitcoin yesterday just take that into account so i uh, need to do a bit more research on that one apologies this is may Valensky with driving markets dollar is likely to con continue going down alt go up gold go up have a good day